Hey, we're going ultimately to Jesus, the faithful shepherd who will die for his flock. But uh, right now we're going to have a couple of segments about unfaithful shepherds. And so we're looking at Zechariah 11 verses 4 to 6. Thus says the Lord my God, feed the flock for slaughter, whose owners slaughter them and feel no guilt. Those who sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their shepherds do not pity them. For I will no longer pity the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord. But indeed, I will give everyone into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king. They shall attack the land, and I will not deliver them from their hand. So God feeds the people. He gives them just what they need. He sends rain on the gardens of the wicked and on the gardens of the righteous. And the zucchini comes up and the cucumbers come up. He gives just what's needed. He always designed humans with free will. But after man fell, after man chose to sin, uh, he scrambled his emotional and his intellectual capacities. And so then he turned towards self-service. And this is the story of your life and mine, a battle with self-service and learning how to uh, do the other thing, serve others, other love. When Zacharias speaks of feeding the flock of God for slaughter, that's really kind of what God is doing all the time, right? I mean, he is feeding the wicked. He's feeding the righteous. Everybody is receiving what they need to have an opportunity to, to live this life, to choose in this life where we're, where we're headed. What are we going to be about? There's a lot of loneliness and desperation in our world. God brought us into this world to help others in just such times as this. So people are making their choices. They're choosing either eternal life and uh, other service, or they're choosing to serve self and put self ahead of everything else. And they're really kind of choosing the, the kingdom, the self-serving kingdom of Satan. Now, God knew this when he gave free will. He always knew there'd be some who chose self and there'd be some who chose uh, putting good into the world. And so he's feeding the flock for slaughter, right? In that some will choose for themselves destruction, that which ultimately ends in destruction. And some will choose humility. And some will choose the things that, that help our characters to become more like the character of Jesus. People like that can live for eternity in peace and joy and rejoicing. And therefore, some are preparing for slaughter. In the sense that God gives people life and he gives them free will, God is responsible sort of for the all the choices that people make, good and bad. I mean, if he hadn't given them life, they wouldn't have had an opportunity to choose for him or against him. But that's what just a simple consequence of giving free will. Life's an opportunity to make really good choices and it's an opportunity to make really destructive choices. Probably you remember there's a place in the Bible where he says, I set before you this day life and good and death you know choose life and that's the choice we're all getting to make which one will i choose every choice we make it tells in one direction or another you know i guess what's going on here too we can say that every person's choosing who they and what they follow and so when we choose to follow the true shepherd which is of course jesus all the good things that come from that are the things of like Jesus. And all when we choose to follow the bad shepherds, that is how we get into lots of trouble. And what we really have is scattered across the world from one end of the globe to the other are a lot of bad shepherds, right? A lot of uh, things that are self-serving, that meet other wrong agendas, that push us into that. Like if you went and you worked for what? A tobacco, a company that uh, did tobacco. Well, maybe you have nothing to do with smoking or the use of tobacco, and you would never use it, you would never give it to your 12-year-old child, and yet you're working for the company that makes it and that is going to damage a lot of people's health. Sure, they're making their own choices, but you're making a choice to be part of that, part of the system that propagates all the suffering. There's something very destructive about following leaders, following shepherds, who are actually just letting you do what, they, what you want. What, that's very self-destructive. One of the most urgent needs in our world is an ability to tell between true and false shepherds. So this is an interesting passage here about the shepherds that are preparing the flock for slaughter. Don't be part of that flock. Be part of the flock of Jesus. Mm -hmm.